Hi everyone, welcome back to our third question on forces. Let us read the question together. A 300 gram mass hangs at the end of a string. Okay, A second string hangs from the bottom of the first mass to a second mass of 900 gram. Find the tension in each string when the masses are accelerating upwards at 0 0.7 meter per second square. Okay, so these two masses has acceleration. Acce acceleration. So, of course, this one involves the Newton's second law. F equal to ma. Not equilibrium. But it has resultant force and also acceleration. Okay. So, information given, we have the mass 1. We have the mass 2, second mass, mass 2. And he asked us to find the tension. Uh, he want to find the tension. Uh, and uh, it gives us the acceleration already. Yeah, acceleration. So, I already draw out the situation here. We must first start off with a free body diagram. Okay. Uh, so, these are the situation. Uh, you must always draw the free body diagram first. So, mass 1, it give, okay, the, you give the mass in gram. So, remember, change to SI unit, kilogram. I already changed to kilogram. All right. So, this is the first mass, uh, which is uh, 300 gram just now. Okay. And the second mass is hung below the first mass. Hung below. Okay. So, draw the free body diagram to show the forces acting. Okay. Since here you have two masses or two bodies, you must also draw two free body diagram. Two bodies, two diagram. One bodies, one diagram. Okay. Uh, one free body, one bodies, one free body diagram, two bodies, two free body diagram. If you have three bodies, you must draw three free body diagram. Okay? Now, so the first mass has free body diagram one, the second mass has free body, free body diagram two. Okay? Uh, so the first mass, the string, the top string is pulling up, pulling up, so the tension is going up. Uh, okay? Pulling up. And then its own weight, its own weight is pulling down because of gravity, M1G. And then the bottom string also pulling the mass 1 down, pulling down. Why the string pull the mass 1 down? Because of mass 2. Uh, mass 2 actually is pulling mass 1 down. So the tension 2 is going down. Okay, uh, that's free boy diagram 1. Now free boy diagram 2 you know the because of tension one uh pulling up so this the top this string is pulling mass two up uh yeah uh t2 actually exists because of tension two is exists because of tension one okay uh so this string is pulling mass two up uh so tension two is going up and then its own weight is pulling it down because of gravity m2g and then we draw the acceleration beside. Uh, don't draw the acceleration on top of the free body diagram. Huh? The acceleration is not a force. The acceleration is acceleration. It's not a force. So you must draw separately at the side. Understand? Acceleration is going up. Okay. And then you see here tension 2, tension 2. Uh, this, the, the first tension 2 is pulling object 1. And then the tension 2 below is pulling object 2. So these two tension acting on different object. Okay? Different object. Uh, but they are called action reaction force. Meaning that action reaction means they have same magnitude but opposite direction. And they must act on two different objects. Uh, the top tension 2 is acting on object 1, pulling it down. The tension 2 below is pulling object 2 up. Uh, okay, two different objects. Good. Now, let us uh, continue with our problem-solving calculation. So, let us look at the free boy diagram 1. Okay. So, this one has acceleration. So, of course, it has resultant force and acceleration. Total Fy equal to M1A. Yeah. Uh, uh, mass 1 only. Understand? Uh, 0 0.3 kilogram. Now, the sign, the sign for direction. Again, I want to emphasize this one. If object if is not equilibrium, it has resultant force or total F equal to MA, 
you must follow this sign. Follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative. Okay, so draw the sign first. Now, follow. Acceleration is going up. So, look at the free boy diagram one only. Eh? Let us look at the only the free boy diagram one. Okay, I put a line here. Let's concentrate on the top one. So, uh, acceleration upward. So, going up, forces is positive. Uh, follow acceleration positive. Opposite acceleration negative. Understand? Uh, follow accelerate. Uh, follow acceleration positive, opposite acceleration negative. Yeah. So tension one is positive because it follow acceleration. Uh, so put that as uh, positive, positive T one, and then uh, M one G and T two is opposite acceleration, so negative. Uh, so negative uh, M one G and then negative T two. Uh, M one A. Understand? Okay, and then for free boy diagram 2, okay, T2 is positive, right? Write that down. T2 is positive because follow acceleration. Uh, M2G is negative because opposite acceleration, yeah? T2 is positive because follow acceleration. M2G is negative because opposite acceleration. So, write that down also, okay? So, T2 is positive. Uh, minus or negative M2G uh, equal to M2A, right? Or you simply can say uh, the big force minus the smaller force equal to the resultant force, okay? T2 is, T2 is bigger than M2G. So we use the big force minus the smaller force, you get the resultant force, yeah? Uh, that's another way to say it. Okay, so now we want we substitute the value and try to get what we want to get the tension. Uh, we want to get the T1 and T2 value. We already have the masses, we also have the acceleration. So let's subs in the value. Okay, let's subs in the value. Uh, we maybe we continue with uh, because uh, here we have T1, T2, we have two unknowns, we cannot do it. So we con we start with the T2, uh, the mass 2 here below. Okay, so uh, mass 2 is uh, 0 0.9. Uh, and then we have uh, 9, uh, G is 9.81. Uh, this one is 0 0.9. A, A is 0 0.7. Uh, where do you got? It give us 0 0.7. So we calculate T2, we get answer is 9.459 Newton. That's the answer. That's the tension for T2. Now, T2, we got it. We put in into the first equation here. Uh, the T2 here. So, uh, put in the value of yeah, T1 minus uh, mass 1 is 0 0.3. Uh, and then 9.81. And then T2, we got just now is 9.459. Yeah? 9 9.459. Equal to mass 1 is 0 0.3 and acceleration is 0 0.7, 0 0.7. And finally, we got our T1. So, it's 12.61 Newton. That's our tension 1 in string 1. That's our tension in string 1. That's our tension in string 2. Okay, so we got the answer. Uh, let me check. Yeah, it's correct. Alright, so remember, when you have two objects, two bodies, you must have two separate free boy diagram and do them separately. Understand? Do them separately. So that's all for our uh, third questions. So stay tuned for more examples. Thank you. Bye.